the very fact that she has fear for her life she has she is terrified for the fact that the those convicts her rape convicts murder convicts they are out on road in the same area uh, that's not safe that's not safe uh, a society to live in if the convicts of this gruesome crime do come like this so easily and without even undergoing the you know a substantial period uh, inside without serving for the crime that this committee has to be reconstituted by recalling the decision of remission hello and welcome to the wire this is dishan kaskar as young journalists we are often told to be extra careful uh, when reporting about sexual harassment uh, gang rapes and other gender related crimes because the identity of the victim is has to be protected at all costs but an extraordinary thing happened in 2002 when a woman herself came forward and uh, identified uh, her rapist inside the court the court also called this act very brave later on also punished uh, her rapist yes we are talking about the bilkis banu case uh, where 11 men who raped her not allegedly but raped her are now out after a gujarat government's decision and uh, there are a lot of questions which are coming up a lot of uh, questions regarding justice uh, a lot of legal questions a lot of moral questions but in this particular video we will just be looking at the legal aspect of it and who better to comment on the issue than uh, the lawyer of bilkis banu herself uh, advocate shobha gupta ji uh, welcome to the program welcome to wire ma'am uh, after 15th august this uh, decision by gujarat government uh, you must have spoken with bilkis about the entire thing where is she and how is she feeling about it she is concerned about her security safety and that she had appealed to the state of gujarat to undo the Uh, that remission order and undo the injustice caused to her because of that remission order and by which which enabled an early release of the uh, convicts so now uh, that's how she has publicly given her state of mind her status right now why, how she is feeling feeling as far as where is she another thing she is in gujarat because uh, hmm. uh, i had read that the accused person the convicts rather Uh, came from the same area uh, where she was living uh, they in fact they belong to the same they belong to the same village yes they belong belong to the same village uh, so that's why i was asking this question ki is there fear she specifically said so okay. she's concerned about her safety uh, we all are concerned about the safety and not because uh, tomorrow the convicts are going to do something with her and like we i'm not saying that i'm saying the very fact that she has fear for her life she has she is terrified for the fact that the those convicts her rape convicts murder convicts they are out on road in the same area uh it was the cbi's case which comes under basically the delhi special police establishment act cbi comes under that so how was it that the gujarat government took a decision on this and not the cbi or some central agency there is an order of supreme court as in a petitioner one of the convict has gone to supreme court supreme court has accepted his plea and said yes the state of gujarat is the right party to or right state government to look into this application under the 1992 policy and therefore directed the uh, state of gujarat to look into the remission so i uh, as on date till we challenge that order till somebody challenges that that order uh, this thing i believe is out of discourse that why state of gujarat to begin with yes that is completely a different argument that when he say no no it's state of gujarat has nothing to do with this it should have been either maharashtra or central government because it was a cbi dealt case uh so whole of that become a topic of discussion but yes state of gujarat i do not find that at mistake because they were following a direction of supreme court to look into supreme court never directed to grant a mistake remission right but when it comes to examining that remission application they were bound by the order of court because 
the court says so 2014 policy by gujarat government prohibits rape convicts to get remission but uh, in this particular case a 1992 policy was used so how are you looking at it there are also a small correction uh, see there is an order of supreme court like one of the accused came to supreme court he his case was that uh the 1992 policy would be applicable court accepted that passed an order on 13th may 2022 so unless this is something uh different that we did not we were not aware of it but maybe uh, an accused can go to court without making us party and not accused but the convict rather here and court passed an order since there is a supreme court order i don't want to make a comment on that aspect that whether why 1992 and why not 14 mm. okay uh, so in all this discourse when we are talking about this we are not getting into the issue of which policy should have been made applicable ji mm. right because that is something if we have to do we have we should go to court ji mm. today there was an order of supreme court which says pass order on based on this policy okay so we uh, uh, in all fairness are dealing with the whole of it uh, assuming that 1992 policy for the time being it's not as if then we are go if we are if at all we are going to court and we are putting up our case and then we are going to admit for it and nothing like that and only for the discourse that since a court says 1992 policy therefore it was examined their remission application was examined under the 1992 policy so maybe because of that reason they proceeded with that policy the whole absurdity the whole uproar is on that outcome right will this uh... so keeping aside all that objections for the time being when whether a state of gujarat could have or should not have since there was an order of supreme court they had to look into it uh this is i'm not for a moment admitting yes the state of gujarat had was the right government to look into it or that policy is that i'm not really getting into any of it despite all this assume 92 policy assume state of gujarat had to do that the whole approval and grievance is is their application of mind was it is it really a case where the convicts for a for a for for a crime of this nature It's exceptionally gruesome crime whether they were entitled for remission they should have been given remission on on undergoing the minimum sentence that was you know 14 years is for a life imprisonment with the benchmark for even application for remission to be entertained do you think in your opinion will this discourage this 15th august decision will discourage young women to file cases of sexual harassment in future i'm personally you know our human right and women right uh crusader uh, in my own terms and i would rather request everyone and beseech please do not get dissuaded by one wrong executive decision i'm a firm believer in the system be it judicial system justice delivery system or the uh, the executives that the government and i am more than sure that even the major government state under article 12 the governments are state under article 12 and they are the major stakeholders to and to maintain law and order to ensure uh, uh, justice to all of us they would be making it sure to challenge it and to undo this wrong so please do not get dissuaded by one wrong order taken by them yes it is very heartbreaking uh it is sad it is disturbing uh, we do not want uh, we do not uh, that's not safe that's not safe uh, a society to live in if the convicts of this gruesome crime do come like this so easily and without even undergoing the you know a substantial period uh, inside without serving for the crime they are they are paying price for the crime they have already committed 
but yes one must not get this way it is it is affecting people as a matter of fact it is affecting people in fact we are now getting calls and things that why should we pursue a case why should we trouble ourselves to pursue a case it's not easy to pursue cases it's not easy to even pursue a criminal case right from the date you suffer the crime to get an fir lodged to participate in the investigation to get up to the stage of charge sheet then trial in the evidence over there cross examination of all nature we have seen uh, uh, you know cross examination uh, uh, rip apart the person even the complainants reaching to the stage why should one suffer all that if the end can be like that if it's it can turn around on your face like this but still but still you are saying as a believer in law as as a law student my request would to all would be that continue to have faith in the system and system would really do their job they would come up one of the stakeholder uh, one at least one of them would really come forward and do their job i just want to uh, turn your head towards an interview which i saw last night a, uh, a digital organization called mojo did a story meeting bjp mla uh, who was also part of the pa- panel he's from godhra he said that uh, uh, these people these convicts were brahmins and that it is unclear if the crime was intentional i am quoting him he said it in hindi i just translated so uh, if a person from ignore the- him like uh, i i would rather ignore uh this comment and uh, i would not love to even dignify this uh, whatever he said by responding to that all right uh that only shows uh if this person was i'm told uh, was also the member of the committee yes so apart from being associated with a particular party or not or otherwise but he was member of the committee but that shows that all the more reason this committee needs to be reconstituted if at all this 92 policy has to be looked into for the purpose of their remission application and if it has to be done by the state of gujarat this committee has to be reconstituted by recalling the decision of remission because surely uh, his uh, interview shows that he was uh, ill informed he was not fully informed <clears throat> possibly he has not seen the file possibly he has not seen the papers carefully because the very fact that he says uh, not sure then i'm sorry he is not aware that there are judgments of trial court high court supreme court review dismissed mm. so their conviction were upheld till by the last court 2019 so if the member of the committee says so and if this is him only who was part of the committee and that was a uh, with this information if he has uh, participated in the committee in the decision making process then certainly he himself has dented the decision he himself has conveyed very clearly that the decision was not with proper application of mind all right uh so what is the road ahead for bilkis in this particular case is there any road 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 ahead for bilkis is that the major stakeholders do their duty let them come up take the plunge file uh, challenge that or undo that de- the wrong decision the state government can take uh, you know f- take some action uh, recall the decision or undo it uh, or cbi challenges it or the central government challenges it or the courts takes you more to action all right man all right that those were all my questions thank you very much for speaking thank with us thank you so much for your time your valuable time to receive instant updates on all videos from the wire click the subscribe button and hit the bell icon pay to support independent journalism click the link in the description and choose the amount you want to pay